So for episode 27, we've chosen a video that came from a great company that I'm very fond of called Orbit Media. Orbit Media, if you don't know them, they do some incredible research and data crunching on website user experience. They also sometimes partner up with um, other specialists. And I have to tell you, Johnny, I I've been a student of, of their, their research papers because it kind of helps you reflect and keeps you right on you know, the way in which a website experience should be crafted. And they have years, if not decades, of of in vain. Now, this video was recorded or hosted, should I say, by Andy Crystal who is the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Orbit Media. And the title is as follows: 13, 13 things to remove from your website immediately. So sounds uh, very, very dramatic. I'm very aware of that. And what I've, I was able to do then is watch the video. I know you've done it as well. I've got a list of 13 to go through, and I picked three because time is against us. And one where I'm not totally in agreement with Andy, and two where I'm like, exactly, and you're going to actually share, share, share this advice. So very, very quickly for viewers and listeners, I'm going to go through all 13. So remove immediately vague homepage headlines. And actually, similarly, generic navigation labels. Meaningless subheadings is number three. Number four, long homepage sliders. I mean, everybody's trying to you know, shove in their, their information. I get it, the poor marketing team is being bullied into having eight, 10 sliders for all the different departments, but a visitor would not go beyond the first two or three. Um, an oldie, but still happens, avoid stock photos of people, or should I say nowadays, AI photos of people. Um, number four, five, six now, social media icons, remove them from the homepage. Remove the dates for on blog posts, interesting one. Remove long paragraphs, think about mobile phone um, viewers. Press releases, stop copying and pasting press releases as is. You've got to rework them and add more media content. Question mark on PDF files, do they help? really the traffic the expense and so on we move on to testimonial pages long list of people saying wonderful things about you but unsupported by uh, evidence email links contact forms are better or are they and finally the dead end thank you page or the dead end call to action page where you do something and then suddenly it goes blank or there's like a tiny message on the top left corner saying done or submitted and you have no idea what what's happened so please everyone watched the video it's great um here and is essentially a case that he makes for all those 13 things to remove immediately but i want to go back for the three i've got social media icons press releases and testimonial pages i can't be sure that i agree with um what is being claimed that social media icons on the home page are a distraction and you can lose visitors my position they are there to be glanced at the form of reassurance but nobody th that i can think of is going to click on the social media icons if the intent is to visit the website and know about the business press releases i agree they are ugly as hell on website people are lazy they copy and paste the press release as it is written it's written for the press and um, the title is enigmatic the first paragraph is usually weird and the it's just flat on, on the web page this is not how we write on, on the web so stop doing it and yes i mean my, my biggest um kind of uh, pay peeve when testing on pages is like it's like a long long list of quotes from people but without any reasons or they're not grouped around the product or they're not grouped around the service and so on and and often it just leaves you thinking well are they real are they not real and so on but yeah Great, great video, great 13 things that you can use at your next team meeting or website meeting. And these were my top three. But did you have any that maybe you were not sure about or that you are clearly in agreement with as well? A great video with lots of really good advice and some obvious things that um, over the years it's you know these things do need removing from your website uh i like your point about the testimonial pages you know we love testimonials they're keyword rich user generated content uh build trust give, give that professionalism but let's integrate them into the content instead of having just a testimonials page um yeah press releases they that you know you read them and they're like yeah, what's this? Write the story yourself. Uh, so whatever story you're hoping that was going to be produced from the press release, write it yourself, put it on the website instead of just copying and pasting the the the, the uh, press release. Social media icons, I do agree with you, Pascal. I guess the halfway house 
is removing them from the header of the website and just having them in the footer of the website is a halfway house because mm. the danger is that you've got them there, they click through, and of course, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, they're all designed to keep you there. They're all designed to get you looking at those adverts. So the danger, I guess, is that you do click through and you start looking at stories of cats and dogs and you know you totally forget the business that you were looking at a minute ago. So I guess having them in the footer of the website is a halfway house to to build that trust. It certainly do not remove them completely. But in in short, great video, worth watching, and more importantly, a brilliant step in starting to feel proud of your website by removing stuff that just does not work. Does not work. It's doesn't actually help people understand what you do sufficiently um, and particularly when we talk about the vague homepage headlines or the meaningless subheadings um, quick question before we move on to our next segment 